Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in Modern. Today we're looking at Four Color Blink. Four Color Blink, also called Four Color Midrange, Four Color Omnath, or Four Color Money Pile, is one of the best and one of the most expensive decks in Modern, proving that the most powerful card in Magic is the credit card. Indeed, any player who builds it will probably wind up reevaluating their life choices after spending over $2,000 on cardboard rectangles for a children's card game. Four Color Blink is a go-long mid-range deck that maximizes on full playsets of the most generically powerful, and thus most expensive, cards in the format, with pricey lands to enable its four color mana base, and adds an additional 20 more cards than normal to satisfy the companion requirements of Yorion. It combines all the best value cards such as Ragavan, Renin Six, Teferi Time Raveler, and Omnath with cheap and efficient general purpose removal and counter spells backed up by resource advantage from cards like Expressive Iteration and Jace the Mind Sculptor. The specific cards will and should change over time as new best cards are printed. The deck can play many different roles depending on the matchup. It can be aggressive with Ragavan and cheap removal. It can play mid-range with its plethora of resource advantage engines. It can ramp by exploding mana with Omnath. Or it can function as control with one-for-one -one removal and counter spells. If the game goes long, which it likely will, Yorion can accrue considerable resources by blinking the many permanents in the deck that have ETB triggers, like Abundant Growth and Solitude. Depending on how many of them you control at the time, you can often draw an additional three or more cards. Not that you need to, as a majority of the non-land cards in the deck replace themselves or draw additional cards anyway. The mana base is made up of an array of many fetch lands to enable Omnath and Renin Six, an assortment of shocks and triumphs that they find, a few basics, and a small amount of other lands such as Beseju. Bottom line, the deck can fight anything. It has fast creatures, cards that replace themselves, cheap removal for both creatures and other permanents, counter spells, and card advantage engines to dominate the late game. It fights on every axis you could want. Sideboarding Unfortunately, there isn't much to say regarding sideboarding with this deck. The decklist isn't static and requires hands-on experience, though it's fairly straightforward. Since the deck is so solid already in card advantage, threats, and generic answers, the sideboard should mostly be made up of narrower cards that serve niche functions. Cut or shave any cards that are weak or relevant in a matchup, such as creature removal against decks with fewer zero creatures, and replace with relevant or better cards. How to beat it Because it plays all the best cards and answers, Four Color Blink can function in any role against any deck. That being said, the areas where it can struggle are 1. Fast aggro, combo, or ramp decks that don't rely on creatures, such as Burn, Belcher, or Tron. And 2. The deck is susceptible to Blood Moon since it requires so many colors. However, it can still get around this via Abundant Growth. Additionally, because the deck is 80 cards due to Yorion, it's a bit less consistent than a deck of its kind typically would be. For example, it doesn't have as reliable access to counter spells as Blue White Control. Tips and Tricks Yorion serves a multitude of functions, primarily generating card advantage by re-triggering ETB permanence. However, it can also reset loyalty counters on Planeswalkers you've minused and pitch to Evoked Solitude. Did I mention it's also a 4-5 flyer? Teferi, and to a lesser extent Jace, are similarly Swiss army knives doubling ETB triggers from various permanents, especially Abundant Growth. Either of them plus Yorion is a nigh-unstoppable card advantage machine. A major way the deck gets ahead is by utilizing the insane mana advantage from Omnath. You will frequently play Omnath, play and crack a fetch land to generate 4 more mana, and then immediately play another big threat like Solitude or Jace, which is often game-ending. Don't be afraid to evoke your elementals, as the deck has many ways to recruit the card disadvantage. Renin Six has many uses and is one of your most important cards. It provides a steady supply of new lands, which is especially important for Omnath. It can pick off small creatures like opposing Ragavans and non-delirious Dragon's Rage channelers. And it can rebuy Triumphs to cycle them for new cards, as well as utility lands like Buseju. If the game goes long enough, you can start wastelanding your opponent by repeatedly recurring Buseju. At times, you may want to trigger Omnath's ability to deal 4 damage. The only way to do this is to not crack a fetch land and then play another fetch land on a subsequent turn, so be mindful of your lands. Similarly, you may want to trigger Omnath's life gain ability multiple times, say if you're facing burn. You can play a fetch land and then crack it on the opponent's turn. Yorion resets a dashed Ragavan, meaning you won't have to bounce it at end of turn. Abundant Growth should generally be attached to a basic land to give you more color fixing options and to get around Blood Moon. You can also attach it to a fetch land if you don't want to lose life. And lastly, Teferi's plus ability lets you cast Prismatic Ending and Supreme Verdict at instant speed. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Four Color Blink. 
I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.